2K Sports as we get set to bring you all the action. A quick check now for starting lineups for both teams. So Philadelphia will get the first possession. From past the arc. All alone. Jump shot is good that time. Five to shoot. Wide open. I am it grabs the miss. And just about a minute into the first quarter. There's the pick. Off the pick. Tries to save it. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. The first one falls. And so he makes both from the line. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. Six on the shot clock, and that is good. You know, Heat head coach Eric Spolster worked his way up from the very bottom in that organization. I mean, he got his start as a video coordinator and through years of hard work and dedication has really become an outstanding coach. Fires for three. Offensive rebound. Second shot opportunity. He lays it in. And back to Coach Eric Spolstra. As a guy who got his start as a video coordinator, picking the game apart, Steve, he's very comfortable with the new advanced stat movement, analytics in he the is. NBA. Yeah, and I've had a chance to speak with him quite a bit. He says that the way they use advanced stats is just a, as a conversation piece in the coaching room. Uh, their, their analytics department will bring them various information, and it will force them to ask questions, which is very healthy uh, for a coaching staff to do. Launches it, and the shot is good. And in this first quarter, about three minutes played. The three ball. It's hauled in by the 76ers. And 
first quarter. We're about three and a half minutes in. Ramos. And that one's good. And he is also a tireless worker under the glass, Steve. More than a few guys have been on the receiving end of one of his elbows when the rebound is up for grabs. He uses his body very well. Stripped away. Shot clock at six. Blanketed by the D, he fights to the rim for the layup. They need this. Dwight Howard pulls it in. You know, nine times out of ten, he's going to knock that one down. He'll spray that one on you. Right block shot. Miami grabs the miss. You know, he's been off his game this quarter just a bit. Hasn't been able to get a whole lot to go so far. This one for three. And Drew Holiday with the three. He's got eight. The easiest way to do it sometimes is with the bounce pass. It's all tied in Philadelphia. And we'll be back in just a moment with the start of the second quarter. Second quarter getting underway. No team gaining an edge so far. And looking at what we've seen from the 76ers, what do you guys think? Here's Mitchell. McGee. to Mitchell and here is Beal lock at six puts up a three here's Mitchell and the heat another three they set the screen An easy layup after coming off the pick The Heat with the lead. Beal with it. Pass to Mitchell. Lots of room. Again, the Mitchell. Heat good for two. The screenplay worked ideally there, and I'm not talking about the screenplay you see in a movie theater. <laughs> Gave him more than enough room to get that shot off. Second quarter, and we're just over a minute in. To the middle. Rebound by the Heat. Terrific job that time defending at the rim. I mean, it's not an easy task stopping that fella when he's headed to the bucket like that. Good job. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. The 11-footer jump shot is good. Some defensive breakdowns are starting to show up now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. And here is Beal, still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Fires from deep. 
They get it back. And don't forget now, a walking highlight reel every time he steps on the court. His flair for the dramatic makes him worth the price of admission all by himself. This is his first trip to the line tonight. The first free throw is good. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Let's it go with a three. Another three for Philadelphia. D there, guys, was pretty much non-existent. I mean, you can't leave a good shooter like that open. Here in the second quarter, we've played a little over two and a half minutes now. Pass to Mitchell. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. He has seven. So it's Philadelphia now. They trail by one. He set the pick. And the Heat making a change here. The inbound, and the 76ers tack on two more. Now McGee, pass to Mitchell. Shot off the screen, and the Heat get another bucket right there. He's really starting to ramp it up now, getting involved in the offense here after being held without a point in the first. And the 76ers call time here. And the 76ers making a switch here. Shot from the inbound, and the layup is good. Boy, after struggling in the first quarter, he's come alive here in the second. From deep, they get a bear. McGee, and the Heat get another bucket right there. Six to shoot. Shoots a fader. <laughs> Javel McGee with the rebound. I think in that situation, it was a nice try to create some space for himself with the fadeaway. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. No good on the free throw. The Heat making a switch here. I got you. I got you. Here we go. We're going to get 
And he's good on the second. You know, they've changed their game here in the second. Getting a little bit more physical, playing with some toughness now. From outside the arc, Miami grabs the miss. Pulls up, high post, and he gets it to go. You know, he'll make you scratch your head and throw your hands up as a defender. I mean, you just don't know how to play him. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that has been very close so far. Pete out front, live from Philadelphia, you're watching 2K Sports. Welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. More action in store as the players get ready to go. Having a nice break to get hydrated with Gatorade. The Heat with the lead. Here's the screen. Six on the shot clock. From deep three point range. No good. From downtown. No good. Fires the three. And a minute played as the second half gets going. Puts up a three, and he gets the bucket. He has six. Boy, I tell you what, he loves getting looks like that from the three-point line. No one near him. That's a warm-up jumper for him. Little over a minute gone here in the second half. They set the pick. Just four to shoot. Off the screen. That's good on the jump shot. Let's it go from the wing. The putback cleans up the mess with the savage putback flush. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Shoots from 14, and they'll keep possession. And it's going to be a 24-second shot clock violation. They turn it over. Timeout called the 76ers. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Oh, 
inside for the lead. And so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. Second free throw, no good. They should be in front right now, but he'll be relieved not to have come up totally empty there. Shot from the low block. And here's the fast break. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. He's off on the first. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Even with the miss, he got the big one there to put him in front. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. And he threw the blocking foul. He'll go to the line for two. First free throw is good. And the 76ers making a change here. And he makes both free throws. Takes the three. Puts it up. And the jumper falls for him. He has seven. 76ers trailing. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. And out of bounds as the Heat gained possession. Well, he just didn't make the catch. Didn't look the ball into his hands. He must have thought the ball was going somewhere else. Here's the three. in the layup shot clock at six misses the three Ramos, and he finishes nicely on the layup. One second left, and he gets the bucket. And we just finished the third quarter, and we've got a tight ball game. Alright, the fourth quarter of action getting underway. We've had a great one so far with both sides coming to play. That free throw good from Anthony. The Heat making a switch here. Both free throws good from Anthony. 
Miami trailing. Now here's Beal. Just five on the clock. From deep, an absolute bomb from three-point range. And Philadelphia has possession. There's the pick. Lock at six. The finger roll finish at the bucket. Those defenders look like they're out of gas. I mean, they're getting pushed around on the low block. Shoots it up. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. And the Heat making a change here. Here's Philadelphia. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the fourth quarter. Here's Navarro. And that comes off the assist by Dwight Howard. And I don't think we can talk about him without also mentioning his tendency to just erupt and string together a bunch of baskets in a row in a real short period of time. Three-pointer, and the Heat, another three. And this is someone that can really hurt you from long range. He did that to a degree in the first half, and he's doing it now. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. Here's Navarro. Damian Lillard pulls it in. Major defensive laps right there. And he's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay attached to him. You're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. From the arc. And it's good. They're going back to the three-point shot over and over and over. Timeout called the 76ers. switch here fourth quarter of playing we're about two and a half minutes through it right now but three count the bucket Let's it go from deep, and again, Miami with the triple. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. Can't get it to go. All sorts of time. And the rebound goes to Howard. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. Getting to the stripe is something they've been doing a lot of in the second half, guys. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. No good at the stripe this time. Second misses also. We played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Six on the shot clock. Autobio. Close it up and in on the nice reverse. Now there's something for the top 10 highlight reel right there. A layup can be just as sweet and as pretty as a dunk sometimes. They set the pick. <laughs> the 
The three. Yes! And he has brought them to within two points. He's definitely turned things around in this game. I mean, he was more of a background player in the first half. He's jumped center stage now. Puts it up. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Surprisingly, he hasn't really been a big part of their offense. I don't think he ever got into a rhythm. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Good. And tie game. That is a huge basket right there. And the Heat call time here. competition we're seeing so far after four quarters a stalemate and we'll see now how these two teams and these few minutes of basketball pan out the fadeaway Fades back. Misses off the right iron. Awesome defense. I mean, he'll hit those unless you're right in his grill. Plenty of space. And that one's good. The defense got butterflies the second that shot went up because they know he typically delivers in the clutch. And one action in this one. We're about one minute into overtime. <laughs> to take the lead and he gets it to go they just continue to splash home those threes eliminating the deep shot has to become priority number one for this defense the shot is off the 76ers leading And he drops in the layup off the glass. Well, overtime basketball, a minute and a half played so far. Six to shoot. From deep three-point range. Overtime in full swing here, two minutes off the clock. It's in! Purely from a size standpoint, that is a mismatch that's going to be hard to overcome defensively. We're in overtime. If you've just joined us, two and a half minutes through it. And that time, also a missed shot. Not too much congestion in the lane. I think he could have gotten a better shot that time, no question. And the Heat making a change here. And he commits the intentional foul. Raymond. He gets the first that you got it out, you got it out. Put your bitch down there. I got here, I got you. I'm out there. Not so far. I got bad here, bitch. Here we go, I got my man. Right, here, here, here. And a tough break is his second attempt at the line. No good. It's overtime basketball, folks. If you're just tuning in, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. And there's the intentional foul. No choice but to stop the clock here.
And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. And the second of two is good. That timeout called the Heat. We're in OT here with just over two and a half minutes gone by. Jacks up a three. Can't get it to go. And so they foul intentionally. Ramos. And he misses the first one. Boy, he wanted that one to fall. And no good on the second free throw, so he goes 0 for 2 there. But Trey, it's good from beyond the arc. And the 76ers call time here. And so they choose to intentionally foul. Number 11. And the first of two, no good. Heartbreaker. And he does get the second one. And that... 